Hello, and welcome to Land a House Adventure. This is episode number five. Now behind me I have 50 feet of flex tubing. Now, with this tubing, I'm going to lay it in the creek, and I'm going to use this. What is it, you may be asking? Well, it's a giant mess of pipe. <laughs> but really, it's called a hydraulic ram pipe. It's over 240 years old. Uh, not this one in particularly, but the concept. And what it is, is an electricity-free pump that is supposed to be a ratio of about seven to one. So as a foot of water drops into it, it'll climb seven feet into the air. Today is going to be testing that out. So here's how it works. Water comes into here from the pipe and it's gonna go through this cutoff valve. And this is a one-way valve and the valve is facing up. So water, as long as there's not too much pressure, will bubble out of this. But as soon as it hits a certain pressure, it's going to close that cutoff right there. Which then will allow water to go through here to this cutoff valve. And you can see the arrow here allows flow to go this way. But because our hose will be going way uphill, the water doesn't want to go there. So that's where this pressure pipe comes in. So water will be hitting this, coming up pressurized, and then as soon as this pops closed from this pressure, whack, this one opens and lets water out. Bloop. So water out, closed, closed, water in, backs it up. And so it's gonna have like a pow-pow kind of action. Now, 90% of the water is going to flow out of this, where only 10% will go into the hose. But 10% from a 1 4th inch tube is still a lot of water. So, I'm going to pull this off the car and get started. The pipe is off my car. Now, because there are moving parts on the hydraulic ram pump, the pump itself has to be facing up and down. So I found a place over here that will allow me to do that. There's a nice rock I can prop it up down there. So I'm going to try and weasel my pipe through the culvert here over to this side because I'm thinking there is at least three if not four foot drop from right here to down there. I mean maybe even five feet. We'll see. but. With that kind of distance, I should be able to pump this water halfway up this hill. We're going to find out. It'd help if I had a sharper knife. I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but I'm going to get this black tube through this culvert. I hope you enjoy this part. It's going to be comical. Don't just sit there, help me. Gosh. <laughs> it's just a giant tangled mess. So I'll be back in just a second. And I'm back. Sorry about that. Had that pipe um, very twisted up. So when I said at the beginning of the video that I had 50 feet, that's got to be at least 100. So snaked through the culvert and around to the pump over there and down through here and through this side all the way 
to right here. So now I'm going to go attach at the other end. Now that I have the pipe through the culvert down here to the ram pump, I'm going to attach it with a rubber connector here and hopefully it'll work on this pipe. Sadly, my connector was too large. It was a two inch and did not fit on my one fourth, one fourth, sorry, my one and a fourth inch tube. So I had to turn to the good old faithful duct tape. So you can see right here, it's just been connected there. And then I put some rocks on it to maybe keep it uh, safe. And then got my garden hose attached. Now, we have to prime this thing, or so I've been told. So I have this valve closed, the small end, and the other end is open. So I'm going to go dip the tube in the water and hopefully get some action out of this thing. All right, let's get started. Now I just remembered whenever I was loading this tube up at the house, my parents' house that is, because they have a stream in the back that I was doing some testing on. I forgot that there were some rocks that got stuck in the tube, so we get to experience cleaning out a hydraulic ram pump because ah, thorns everywhere. Because um, there is a way you can clean it with those little couplings that are on there. Okay, so we've made it to the beginning of the hose here and of course later when I actually do start using this more regularly I will have to put a screen in front of it to prevent uh, debris from getting caught but for now we're just gonna do something to this effect right here that ought to keep it in there let's go see what kind of results we're getting back at the pump and it looks like there was enough pressure to close off the valve so Hear that thing prime? This is exciting. All right, so I guess this thing is building up pressure. A good bit of pressure. So now I'm gonna turn this on slowly. Push this. That's fun. Uh-oh, we've sprung a leak at the duct tape. Woo! <laughs> That's so fun. Look over there. Water's coming out of the hose now. <laughs> I think the um, problem is going to be right here. So much pressure is being released. But plenty of water is flowing out of that hose. <laughs> Very exciting. All right, when I get this thing started, I will show you it in action. Hi. <laughs> All right, there's just too much loss out of this duct tape. So I will have to go and purchase a better connector for this, but very exciting and um, I don't know if you can see it here or not, but way over there I've got the hose and water has been coming out of it when this thing gets going. And that right there is about 
10 feet higher than I am right now. So, we see all this water loss right here. And when you start this, the pressure just builds up and pops this open. You can see all that. So, um, what's really fun though is the heartbeat you feel here. You can feel it here. It's really fun. But, once I get this connector, I'll do an update video. Woo! It wants to work. Just not quite there yet. Hold the phone. I was able to get this thing primed with some more duct tape. So check it out. It's working. So this right here is still leaking a whole lot. And I'll have to get a much better coupling than duct tape. But, and that's only open about halfway. Or less than half. And, so the water flow, and I measured this to be about 10 feet. And check this out. Look how consistent this water is. From all the way down there. Alright, now I'm going to take this hose higher and see how high I can get before the water stops. Got the hose up to a level of about whoa, a level of about 16, 17 feet. See, way down there is the creek. So, I was also able to turn the knob all the way up and look at the kind of flow I'm getting. That's awesome. So, I think, whoa! Sorry about that. The camera is on the tripod right now. And, uh, anyway, I keep hitting it. Anyway. So, I think I can easily go another hose with this. Because, I mean, it's got some serious water flow at this height. All right. That's enough for this adventure. You'll have to wait until next time to get more. See ya.